It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey, and this is going to be Let's Play number eight in our Beginners Let's Play series. Now, today we're going to be taking down Cape Town. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me in the comments, how do you beat it? What's the trick, guys? I mean, you run up against some pretty interesting zombies. You got Daredevils, I think. You got some Brutes. You got some Sprayers. The Sprayers are the killer in this map. That's pretty much the individual difficulty here. And <clears throat> they're really good close range, but they don't have that far of a ranged attack. It's really short and close quarters. So let me go ahead and show you guys my team. I'm actually taking the exact same team that I used in Rio to bring on and move over to Cape Town. So right now, let me go ahead and break this down for you guys. These two snipers, level six, they're really helpful in taking down those Colossus and Brutes because those are pretty much going to be your really difficult tank units to be taken down. Now, I also have a Lumberjack. They actually give you a combat medic in-game. It's which they give you, and it pretty much goes really well with the Lumberjack because the combat medic, go, hell, go ahead, it kind of... You don't have doesn't require you to bring along an extra medic yourself so it kind of pretty much takes care of the lumberjack alone and then i have my gunner various gunner units to help take out and thin out the horde so captain zeta is pretty much the good one for taking down drones she's immune to drones it's really good for that love my um copper my trooper or whatever you call it and she's really good for that pretty much a gunfighter i mean either one works for you guys or a scatter shot and i also have my scatter shot love my scatter shots love them to death and then i got my outlaw to help kind of add that extra punch that a sniper could to take out those brutes so let me go ahead and head over to cape down here we're going to do three attacks and we're going to hit up the finale as usual and then if we open if we unlock any packs we'll open those at the end so do i have any yet nothing to open yet so i went ahead and did the first couple levels i think i did the first three levels just to get a good feel for it how i thought what the best way was to beat it and there's nine days on cape town it's a long 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 Hall. so i'm on day four right now we're gonna be unlocking an uncommon pack after this and then we're just gonna go ahead and do these we're gonna do day four five and six and then we'll jump to the finale for the end so let's go ahead and fight here this is my team i actually got a machine gunner for this so that's actually gonna be really helpful from kamikaze something i don't remember i couldn't get to cast the rest of all of that but yeah it's looking good guys don't fill up on bread guys key to a successful thanksgiving all right so as you can see there's that combat minute that they give you and actually get one at the end of this city Ugh, drop my pen all right so first one is going to be coming from over here so what i do right off the bat is i go ahead and throw two snipers back here they're in a pretty they have a really great vantage point they're able to see these two pads at once just in case you want them to do that and they've got a great straightaway to focus and they have a great just defense spot right there they're not going to be being taken out by any zombies or anything like that and it just makes it easy. So I'm usually here's what I've been doing. I go ahead and throw down my I usually put down my lumberjack right here. I move them back just a little bit, give them, give them a little bit of extra space to breathe. I throw down the outlaw to help take out some of those brutes and colossuses because my snipers aren't really focusing on that pad. So that really helps right there. And then I go ahead and th I usually throw this extra bonus unit. I'm going to use it just in case. I'm going to try not to because machine guns are pretty OP and I want this map to be pretty true to what we got here. So I'm going to try to stick with this. This is what most of you guys are probably going to have, these type of units. And just in case, I'll throw it on a machine gunner. If it looks like I'm losing it just because it's I need it sometimes. But here we go. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up just because I'm feeling good. So as you can see, those snipers have a great straightaway view. And right when that Colossus jumps out, he gets tons of damage dealt to him right off the bat. Those snipers easily finish him off. And then these gunners are still causing damage to him, so it makes it just a whole lot easier to take them out. So I'm going to go ahead and send this one. I'm feeling pretty confident in my group. As you can see, if those sprayers get up really close to your guys, that's when you start getting a little bit nervous. However, at this point, it's really pretty easy to keep them at a distance. So I'm about to get this cop here. I'm about to throw down my cop and scatter shot to help support. Throw them, throw them down really quickly. And these brutes are getting up pretty 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 close i must say but i'm gonna go ahead and throw down an extra outlaw to help take out those brutes and the rest of these guys should handle these close range guys i'm gonna go ahead and flare them away real quick but these rest of these guys are gonna be able to handle these sprayers and drones very easily now as you can see that combat medic is going ahead and healing up the lumberjack and that's just doing their job wonderfully i'm gonna go ahead and send them i'm gonna throw down another sniper there another sniper there let's throw down the lumberjack over here to start holding off these guys stim him up we are rushing to the last second here to start throwing down my people over here i did not really fortify that pad at all but that's kind of how i've been liking doing it it's been working for me it's been getting the job done so as you can see lumberjack he's taking a whole lot of damage from these sprayers right here but these gunmen look like they're handling them fairly well sniper's going to help out take out that last sprayer and we are looking like we're good to go we got a couple sprayers here lagging who are taking out my people 
but we take them down. So as you can see, those sprayers, they can take out an entire pad alone. So you really want to defend against those guys. So I'd really recommend having all your units that you're going with at least level five. I mean, once you get your snipers up to six, that's going to help a lot with taking out those Colossus. Anything higher, I think y'all will be golden, but at least five and six. That's what I really stress. Probably going to go up to, probably going to upgrade my team up to level eight for this next city, but Cape Town five and six and seven. Those are probably your, your good ranges right there. So we're going to speed up these next two attacks a little bit more, kind of get to the races here. So we got an uncommon pack. We'll open that up at the end of the episode, like usual. Maybe we'll get some good, you know, stick around to the end to find out. All right. So we actually got another sniper here, so I can't complain with that. I'm pretty excited. Here we go. Here we go. The Cape of No Hope. I know it's been a lot. It's been pretty tough for a lot of you guys, but we're going to take it out. So Cape down the Cape of No Hope. Good stuff. So very, 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 very similar layout. So I'm going to pretty much do the exact same thing. This time I have an extra sniper, so I'm going to go ahead and throw that down. I pretty much put this pad of three with all snipers here. Go ahead and move them back just a little bit. And guys, a lot of you guys have also been asking me about guilds and stuff like that. I'm going to be putting out a video extremely soon talking about that. I'm going to start my own little guild system, you can say. And I'm going to think I'm going to have about two guilds. The one I have now is level 17. I'm going to start farm, working on another one, split my accounts, and then I'll start working on the infected side as well soon, but not just yet. So... As you can see, look, looks like we're pretty darn set over here. Let me just go down, throw down that lumberjack, and we're going to start the waves. Uh, so we're going to speed it up just a little bit because I'm feeling pretty crazy here. And I'm going to zoom all the way out to get a good view of everything. So as you can see, we're pretty locked down defense over here. I'm going to go ahead and send this next wave too because we have three snipers taking out these guys. It is just working perfectly for us. So I'm going to go ahead and start throwing down some extra troopers and some scatter shots to help take out some of these brutes. What are you guys doing? Help out a little bit. So now we're going to start fortifying this other area. Let's go ahead and slow it down just for a second while we have to kind of start managing all these waves. Flare that away really quick. I'm going to throw down a sniper here. Let's move that out. I'll throw the sniper there. And I'm just going to have to wait for my gunners really quick. Let's go ahead and move the lumberjack out. Stim him up. Oh, I completely missed. Lordy B. Slow-mo is not the way to go, guys. Throw down another sniper. Why not? Start throwing some gunmen down here to start taking out some of these close range guys. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. This is getting a little hairy. Come on. The sprayers are going to town, however. Guys, take them out pretty pretty easily. Now we got all these snipers over there helping out. One, two, three. They're gone. So 345 trophies surpassed that trophy needed by far. So we're doing just fine, guys. No need for quick attacks. You know, sometimes quick attacks can be really helpful if you just want to kind of get through the, the day and it's just really tough. But you know what? If you can do it, try not to use quick attacks just because... You know, you want to be it purely. You want to beat it right. You just want to do good. So, looks like we got one more day. Then we got the finale. How much time are we at right now? We're about seven minutes. All right. So, one more attack, and I believe it's just going to be the exact same map again. So, most of these days are going to be very, very similar in their map scheme. But the finale is always the, tr the, the tricky one. It's always a little bit difficult. So, keep down. Keep it no hope. <laughs> Pretty exciting, guys. Come on. Yep, same map. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But guys, as you can see, I think by this third attack, you guys will really understand the strategy I'm taking. And it works really well, I must say. So we got a level six lumberjack to throw down over there. Can't complain with that. Let's go ahead and throw down the main crew over here that defends this area. My my level six, five trooper. I'm upgrading right now to six. Level five trooper, level five scattershot, and level seven Captain Zeta. I have an outlaw over here. And I'm actually going to throw down another lumberjack on this pad just because I have the extra one right there. Might as well use it. Moving back just a little bit to give them a little bit extra space between the pad and whatnot. Go ahead and strut the waves, and we are off to the races. Let's go ahead and send this pad. Let's speed it up. Here we go. The zombies are coming, but they can't just they can't deal with the power. I'm going to go ahead and send this wave, too, just because I'm feeling lucky here. I'm going to stem up this crew, speed up this area. Only caught the trooper and Captain Zeta. She actually walked into it. That was pretty sweet. Really didn't need to use it, though. Let's still go ahead and fortify this pad a little bit more here. And I'm going to throw another lumberjack here just because, and get ready to flare, start placing all sorts of people, a whole mess of people, there we go, looking pretty good, can't complain right here, I'm gonna have to stem up my lumberjack, but we got two snipers focused in on these guys as well, so that's really gonna help us take out those mutated zombies, we are speeding through this map here, looks like we complete it, no problems at all, 340 trophies, plus we're gonna get a bit of a bonus, so looking pretty good guys, there we go, so Looks like we pretty much ran out of stamina there. I'm going to cut it right now, be right back, and we're going to check out the finale. All right, see you guys in a second.
All right, guys, so we are here with the final day of Cape Town. I have completed all the days. We are on day nine, and if we win, we get a combat medic. Can't complain with that. So for all people, she's saved. Let's save the combat medic. Let's add her to the team, guys. Let's go ahead and fight. We got to use 105 cans. We can actually borrow a combat medic from our people here. Do I want that? Mm. You know, I'm going to roll with the Merc for this one. I'm pretty sure they're going to give us a combat medic or two. Combat, combat medic or two. Jesus. Goodness gracious guys can't say it but yeah feeling pretty good about that so we're gonna go ahead and see what the finale of cape town looks like it's gonna be pretty interesting i've never seen it before i know a lot of y'all have had trouble with it so i'm worried and it's literally the exact same all right all right i can dig it i can dig it so let's see what we got here i feel like this is wrong am i wrong in saying that hmm I'm going to end it just to make sure, just in case I got a sour thing. Just want to make sure. But in case, I mean, if not, y'all have the perfect strategy for taking out the finale and everything like that. Maybe they're a little bit higher powered. I don't know. So here we go. Loading, 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 loading. What are we going to get? I don't know. It's loading. No, no, ah, uh, server error. That's no fun. That's what happens when so many people are playing such a legit game. Sorry for the inconvenience. We will be back shortly. All right, come on. So close. I want to get to this finale, guys. I'm pretty hype. Come on, Cape Town. Here we go. Fight. Recharge. I don't want to recharge them all. Can I just recharge you? Whatever, I'm going to use some coins. That's all I use my coins for, guys, just to recharge for y'all. That's all it is. No legendary packs. Not yet, at least. I'm going to do a video of some legendary packs. This is pretty sweet. So, Cape Town finale. Here we go, guys. Are you hyped or what? Oh, my Lord. This is it. Mm-hmm. Yep. This looks awful. Ugh. Okay. So, normal, I'm going to put... Oh, I got a contractor. Level one. Ugh. That's such a waste. All right, whatever. Throw down the contractor there. Uh, I like that setup over there pretty well. I'm going to throw down my usual squad over here. I'm going to go ahead and put down my Captain Zuda, the trooper, and the scatter shot over there. This one, I'm going to throw a sniper in the back here to help kind of help out with all that, all that jazz. And we're going to put another sniper over here. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and start the wave, see what pad comes first. Well, I knew that one was coming first. Let's go ahead and send it on its way. And let's see how we do here. This is the finale, guys. This is pretty crazy. This map layout is insane. It's crazy. I'm not liking it. Take out that spur. Come on. All right, so we're doing pretty well. So far, so good. Nothing too crazy. Looks like we're going to take out that brute just fine. I'm going to go ahead and throw down the outlaw here. Let's put down the contractor too. Why not? And then I'm going to fill in those last couple spots with the gunner of some sort. Let's give him a second. I'm going to throw down my trooper. And that's going to fill out the rest of that area. Let's stem these guys up, give them a little bit of extra power boost here. Looks like we're having some trouble up front here. Let's go ahead and throw down another Lumberjack here to help take out, thin out the horde, flare them back a bit, just give them a little extra juice. I can see how you guys see this is pretty tricky. It is, I understand that. I do. It is very difficult. Goodness gracious, they're all gone. They're all down. I repeat, they are all down. Okay, Sniper helped pick him off. I got to start refilling this pad ASAP. Rocky. Let's go. Come on. Need some peeps to help defend. This is actually a really difficult unit, but I think I may be able to pull it out. Barely. Barely, I must say. So it's good because both of our objective points are on that side. That entire area is cleared out. So just in case I do lose all my people, we got plenty of defense over here. So I'm going to go ahead and stem up these guys. Let's go ahead and see if we can kind of take them all out over here. I'm going to go ahead and flare them back just a bit, kind of delay them a bit for just a second. Looks like our sniper is trying to help out, take out these sprayers and whatnot. Throw down a contractor here. Kind of take out one of those spitters for me. Let's get some flank and crossfire going here. Throw some extra snipers to pick off the last sprayer. And I believe that's the completion of the finale, guys. So really, it is going to be very difficult. But if it gets to the point where you need some help, you'll be fine. Uh-oh, the dog's barking. Shh. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is the completion of the finale here. Let's go and show our rewards. What do we have? What do we here? Hush, hush. It's okay. I don't even. You probably do, you probably don't even hear him, guys. It's all good. So 
completed Cape Town and we got the combat medic here. And I'm going to go ahead and open that uncommon pack we won a little bit earlier on in the days. I think it was like day three or four or something. Next is Nairobi. That's going to be a pretty interesting little thing right there. So it looks like the dev stream is going on right now for Twitch. So yeah, guys, make sure to check out um, Proletariat on Twitch as well as me. I'm going to be doing some Twitch streaming very soon. So got some common units here. Nothing too exciting, but the uncommon units. What do we got? Outlaw on a field night. Can't complain with that, guys. So good stuff there. I'm going to go ahead and continue. And that's going to call it a day for that legendary episode of our beginners let's play so guys i really do hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and always and i will see you guys in the next episode see you guys